Montana becomes the first state to ban people dressed in drag from reading books to children at public schools and libraries. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing great. Buckle up, strap it. I got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. I got a good one to unpackage today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and your glasses as I blow the lid off another hot topic. We got issues, guys. Like, what is going on in the world today? I have kids, and even my kids are offended by this stuff. Now, here's the challenge. My kids are teens. These, This now is being directed at young, little kids. If my kids were little, little kids, they would trust whatever their teachers or the school system or mainstream media is telling them. Luckily, they have me around and hopefully you guys letting them know this is not normal. So Montana has banned. Man, I hope other states start to do the same thing. And we can thank, we can thank the beer companies and these big retailers that have rolled the dice with their financial future and suffering massive blowback to states maybe saying, hey, maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. You know, status quo is not going to work with this one. I think people are going to be... There's just no solid foundation. I mean, let's really let's really wrap our heads around this. There's no solid foundation for which any of this was built on. This is all wobbly at best. Who is approving this stuff? It's insane. It all comes down to the crisis. Locked at home, too much screen time, on TikTok. We've created this, this crazy world, and people are living in Fantasy Island. I mean, that's really what's going on. So Montana, I want to almost move to Montana. I'm in California. I go through, sometimes I'll go shoot baskets at the local junior high. I'm walking by the classrooms. I see this propaganda in these teachers' windows. I can't believe it. They're basically forced, if not on board, to push this type of stuff. And here's the challenge for our teachers. They're low-level paper pushers at this point. They can't even teach anymore because they're afraid that they're going to get reprimanded or let go if they try to have their own thoughts. They've got to go they've got to operate with whatever curriculum is given to them. And the kids are not engaged anymore. They're unengaged. So you bring in some colorful clown that's a trash tra cross-dresser to read books to them that's that's crazy and fun, that's going to grab their attention. They're going to gravitate towards us. Teachers, if you're watching, please do your best to help perform these cross-dressing clowns. Listen, friends, I'm I we've always had we've always had this demographic throughout society, throughout history. But some things were better left behind closed doors, in my opinion. And what you do in your the privacy of your own home should be your right. But this is public schools and public libraries. So if there's only one state now providing pushback and banning this type of behavior from being pushed on to young, susceptible kids that are going to believe everything that we tell them, that's a big, big problem. And final thoughts I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody wants to see you not only win, win in the game of life. This is not the life we were designed to live. I'm sorry to tell you that. And what you do in your privacy or your own home, whatever. But when you start pushing this on young, impressionable minds and making it part of a normal day at a public school or a public library, look to Montana. They said they're not going to continue to blow the lid off this every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Be a good human. I'll see you on the next video.